good. You tune in Nexus here with a, uh, I guess you could call it a deck update dash deck profile. Um, I've updated my photons, but it's adapted into a different deck. Um, sorry, I haven't been posting anything in a while. Uh, this is my Photon Chaos deck. Uh, I've had a blueprint for this for uh, oof, a couple of months, ever since uh, I heard Tour Guides re-release. And uh, so, yeah, uh, I do have recorded my tournament videos, but the thing is, I'm not sure whether to upload them or not. I want you guys to decide because I went against four Chaos Dragon decks out of six rounds, and quite frankly. I'm not sure if you guys want to see, you know, TG Photon Drain versus Chaos Dragons four times, and then, like, a match or two against something else. So, hit like if you like the deck, <coughs> comment below what you think about the deck, and also comment if you want to see those um, tournament videos. Anyway, this is Photon Chaos. Obviously, we've got the Chaos, which is BLS and Chaos Sorcerer. Then we have Gauze, moving on to the Photon part of the Chaos, we've got Triple Thrasher, Triple Tiger, Double T-King, good general light beat stick, and of course Honest for any light based deck. Two effect bailers, to basically say get your shit out of here in sectors, get your shit out of here wind ups, hopefully. Then we've got Triple Tour Guide from the Underworld. Or as I like to call it, a Troll Guide. This is the Black Rare. It's all I can afford. And she's good enough for me. Anyway. We've got Sangan. Such as our Tour Guide. and uh, Valor and Honest. And all sorts. Uh, Crabons. You know, when you summon your Tour Guide. And you can go for your overlay. What happens if you get effect Valored? You're left with a Tour Guide. What happens when you summon a tiger? You just got the tiger on the field. Sometimes you need a bigger beat stick than the photon thrasher. Splash in some tuners, I say. We have the psychic engine, double crebons, and double psychic commander. Now this allows me to access level fives, rank threes, um, level sixes, level sevens, and sometimes level eights. Anyway, moving on to the spells. We have triple. MST because this deck needs the S and T destruction. Um, we have Heavy Storm, we have our Dark Hole, our Monster Reborn, and our Buck Moon. Staples. Now we have Allure of Darkness. I'm not sure about this card, so you guys decide. I put Allure of Darkness in here, you know, to help speed up the deck because I special summon a lot and I thought Duality would slow it down. I did some testing today. There was very few times I could actually play a Lure of Darkness to be effective. So I may change that for Polarity. What do you guys think? Mind Control. Emergency Teleport times two. Okay, that was the spells. Now to the traps. We have double compulse. Two chains. Uh, I've got finished chains to shut down some effects, you know. Because I really do hate insectors and wind-ups. I hate getting my shit looped and I hate getting my shit blown the fuck up. But I like chain. Uh, obviously staple, double torrential, double warning. And mirror force! Gotta love the mirror force. Okie doke. Right, so that's the main deck. Moving on to the side deck. We have two King Tiger Wang Huges. Sparkly version. Don't think you can see that. Uh, double Snowman Eater for added defense. Double Poppy Plant for any warrior based or hero based decks. Double Electric Virus for those machine and dragon decks. Two Light Imprisoning Mirrors because it doesn't really hurt my deck, really. Um, worst comes to worst, I just summon Tiger. It's a 2k beat stick, level 3. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, yeah, here's our Double Popness. That was talking about where was in our trap lineup. Third compulsory, so I do like a pulse. Now I have two spots here left. If you ignore him for a second, 
which I filled with Archetype Magician Mistwer, because I can't seem to fit them in the extra deck. Uh, I've always liked Arcanite Magician, but I don't feel that I'll be going into him that often, because the only way for me to go into him is Effect Veiler, or any level 1 tuner, plus my Chaos Sorcerer. Although you can pop two cards on the field, it's not the same as when it was in my Chaos Zombies, and I could use Glart Bulb and Synchro it into an 8 from there. So I'm thinking about dropping him for this guy, Dark End Dragon. All it needs is a tuner and a dark type monster. So, yeah, that works with a Creebons and my Chaos Sorcerer. Or any other level 2 tuner. Um, but once again, it's situational. Only for Chaos Sorcerer. But this guy has a really nice effect. I do like Dark End Dragon. I've always liked Dark End Dragon. He's a 2 6 beat stick, and by reducing an attack by 500, I can send one monster with the opponent controls to the graveyard. So. Yeah, hit me up with ideas. And of course, Mistworm. Uh, I have found that I can go into level 9, but it is rare. Um, but then again, if the opportunity is there and I can't go into the Mistworm because I don't have it in the extra deck, it's kind of like, shit, why don't I have this card? You know? So, <clears throat> I'm torn with these guys. Uh, if you have better. Uh, suggestions for the side deck uh, for two spaces or how to redesign that by all means let me know just make sure it's constructive you know no one likes haters anyway moving on to the extra deck extra deck time we have scrap dragon thought ruler archfiend black rose dragon it came in really handy today uh, guy knight Obviously, uh, level 6, 2 6 beat stick. Brionic, bouncing shit off the field. Lovely secret rare. Magical Mandroid, giving me life points. Light target, <laughs> like I need them. Uh, uh, Justice Katasta, Katasta, very needed. He helps so much. People may be saying the Synchro Era is dead, but if the Synchro Era is dead, why is this card helped so, so much? Anyway, Exceeds. Tem Tempo. Getting rid of them Zen Mains, detaching them materials off their uh, Utopias and such likes. It's just a really, really good card. Giga Brilliant. Um, powers up my monsters. I may drop him, I may not, depending. It's 1818. Uh, I can detach materials making 21, and then if he survives, I'm making. 24? Yeah, 24. Anyway. Light target. Lavier. Getting my remove from play shit back. That I remove with Chaos Sorcerer and BLS. And uh, any shit the opponent banishes. And shit I banish through Allure of Darkness. So, yeah. Awesomes. Then we've got two Leviathan Dragon. Because Zen Mains isn't out yet. In reprint. <laughs> but, uh, Yes. Once I get the tins, Zen Mains shall be going in the extra deck. And then, because I can occasionally go into rank 4s, we have Maze Stroke, flipping shit face down and protecting himself. Uh, Photon Pillar Operative, or as I just call it, Photon uh, Butterfly Assassin. It's a lot easier. I do not understand why Konami changed that fucking name. Ugh. Do not put a mess with me and my Photons. Seriously. Anyway, 2100 Beat Stick. Let's face down, what's his face up? Juices the attack by 600. Yeah! That's all that. Although I really wish they had made him a super. It would look so much better as a super. And then we got Utopia, the king of all reprints. So, yeah. That's it, YouTube. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know, do what you guys do best. Uh, let me know about the side deck. Uh, any suggestions for the extra deck? Um, what do you think about the main deck? It seems to work all right. Um, you know, it doesn't seem to need a lot of draw power because there's like so many cards that fish out cards from the deck or search each other out. So yeah, catch you all next time. And uh, it's Neonexus signing out. Peace.